So it's a changeable July evening here in Hampshire. Uh, nice and mild, pretty warm, but there's been some rain during the day and the wind is just picking up behind us. Now, we're hoping that because it was raining earlier, probably kept the bucks down, stopped the movement, and now it's brightened up, the bucks should be moving around and hopefully rutting females. Now, as we were traveling along the ridge on the far side, we saw a decent looking buck just on the hedge line, two fields below us with the doe in the field. Now, he was looking off to his right, so I'm not sure if there's another buck there, maybe a younger one who's trying to move in and rut with the female, but he seemed pretty fixed. So while he's looking the other way, we're hoping to sneak over this ridge, see if we can get up behind him and call him in. The great thing about having this wind is that it is in our favour. As you can see, it's blowing from behind me pretty strongly, which is also going to mask some of our sound as well as our scent. Well, that's the plan anyway. So let's get over there and see how close we can get. We're out again with Owen Beardsmore of Service UK. Owen and I have enjoyed many successful hunts together over the years. He's a great character and I thoroughly enjoy his company. Service UK is recognised as the UK's leading hunting outfitter, with roebuck hunting a particular speciality. But this has not come by accident. Owen spends many hours glassing his ground and nurturing bucks through to their full potential. He employs a holistic management programme, taking out the weaker cull bucks and letting the stronger bucks reach maturity. This ensures the deer population thrives. We make our way slowly down the field margin. The vegetation is high and dense, requiring a slow, methodical approach. This pays off as we see a young culbuck grazing a short distance into the crop. I get set up on my sticks, ready to take the shot. The height of the vegetation offers a limited target at the top of the neck. Owen takes up position in an adjacent tramline to try and call the buck into a better position. The buck doesn't want to move and at around 100 yards, I'm confident of the shot at this distance. The shot connects perfectly and the buck drops on the spot. Let's hope he's not too difficult to find in the crops. A successful stalk and a great way to start off the day. Beautiful little buck. Uh, obviously, he's not uh, a particularly good one. He's not really good stock. As you can see, quite weak at the top there. Uh, you'd expect them to at least showing some shape, maybe six points on the brow there, but we want to make sure there's good quality, healthy, decent genes to pass on to the next generation. Uh, this uh, particular animal, yeah, he's quite weak, so perfect to take out. In addition to taking out the larger, more dominant males that are past their prime, equally, we need to be taking out younger weaker buck so great condition beautiful in his chestnut summer coat although it's not really looking like july weather at the moment but yeah great stalk interesting how he responded to the call didn't come immediately still quite hesitant clearly that bigger buck has been pushing him around very nervous around that female but overall very happy got a decent cold buck out of the way and we can continue on for the rest of the afternoon so getting back to the truck get him grudged and continue The day is still young and we're quickly off to a new location. We're welcomed by the wonderful sight of a roe doe and two kids. This area is alive with deer and it's great to see Owen's management plan is yielding such good results. As the doe moves on, so do we, down the opposite hedgerow, periodically glassing the stubbles for any signs of a buck. Owen has put a great deal of time into scouting and knows the area intimately. He's confident there's a buck here. And he's right on the money once again. This buck has come charging into the call and I quickly get set up on the sticks. He spotted us but seems intrigued by the call. At any moment, he's going to stop and take a closer look at us. I just need to be patient. Patience is key and not rushing your shot is even more important. I'm certain it's a good engine room shot, even though he makes cover. The combination of Hawk Sidewinder, Howard 1500 rifle and GRS Berserk stock, and my trusty Vanguard B62 sticks have worked perfectly in unison today, giving me the confidence to take on challenging shots. Owen identifies a good blood trail. 
Okay, so we've got blood here. So here we have a beautiful buck, kind of surprised us, to be honest, certainly surprised me. As we came through the field at the bottom, we'd seen a younger buck in there earlier on today. As we came into the field, there was a doe with two kids. Now, Owen said, unlikely there'll be a buck nearby. She'll keep the kids out of the way in case the buck kills the kids. So moved into this field, there wasn't one, but two bucks. This fella here, who's a nice mature buck, in great condition, clearly been rutting. And then a younger, probably two or three year old buck, a little bit further away in the corner. Once again, you're never really entirely sure how the bucks are gonna to respond to the call. And this one started to come initially, clearly caught sight of us against the woodland at the far side. So it was a little bit wary, but still couldn't resist the sound of that call. Came in another 40, 50 yards and then started quartering. Now, as soon as I saw that, I thought, well, he's either going to come a little bit closer or he's gonna take flight. So I gave him enough time and I thought, now or never. Took a shot, probably a couple of inches high in the shoulder, cleaned up a lung shot, and he fell, as you saw, just into the margin at the side there near the wood. Perfect buck for us. You know, maybe a year or two years early, but still you can see from the crowns there, he's a pretty old buck. Still got a younger buck in here, um, who is in great condition, nice six pointer, nice and tall. And over the next two to three years, he'll become the dominant male in this territory. So great stalk, lovely evening, really pleased with the animal we've got. And there's still time in the day to see if we can get some more.